Hey, so welcome. So uh, we're sitting here on stage getting ready to do a sound check, and I'd like to introduce you to our friend Kimar. Now, Kimar is a, a nice mannequin. He's pretty popular in the acoustics research field. The main thing about him is he's got a pair of ear canals just like you and I do. And at the bottom of those ear canals, he's got an eardrum. And instead of an eardrum, we've actually placed microphones. So that means this guy tends to hear very much the way you and I do. And as I pan around over the other side, now the sensation you're probably getting is that it's much stronger in the left ear uh, coming out of your headphone than what you'd uh, heard if I'm sort of in the middle, it should be sort of balanced there. But So this guy has the ability to capture very faithfully the environment going on around us. And uh, we're going to use him here today to help uh, walk through some of the wonderful things you can do with in-ear uh, Many of you have probably had some experience with in-ears. And one of the frustrating things can be sometimes that you're disconnected from your environment. Uh, with the in-ears that we're going to be playing around with, which we've added a little environmental ambient mics on, uh, you get a much more natural sound. And we'll walk you through some of those demos. Go ahead and pull Kimar's uh, you, you know? Okay. So Kimar here, as I said, he's, he's kind of our friendly dummy. He's acoustic dummy. His head rotates around. And we can pull off his pinnas. I don't suggest you do this to yourself because obviously that hurts quite a bit. And he's got an ear canal, and at the bottom of that ear canal is the microphone that we use for uh, doing all these recordings. So um, if you actually listen to this recording under a good set of headphones, it should actually give you the sensation that you are here with us right now. I'll just bring his head back around a bit, get him sort of centered up on his torso. So, so we've got a pair of ears, left and right magically match the same size, and he uh, basically represents uh, all the acoustic properties of the average human being. So now we're going to have some fun with our uh, friend here. We're actually going to stick in a uh, universal fit in here. And the main thing that's different about this over traditional ones is that we've incorporated a small microphone up here, and that microphone we're going to demonstrate. So that's your personal ambient mics uh, versus the mic you might find on stage. So remember, everything you're hearing is coming through our, our friend Kimar's ear canals. So it's just like you were standing here. I'm going to insert that in there. And the first thing we're going to demonstrate as that foam expands, the first sensation you're going to get is that I'm going to become fairly isolated. You're going to have troubles hearing me. Particularly in the right ear. Definitely. And that right ear was the first one I put in. So now as I put it in the left ear, it'll uh, take a little while for that foam to expand back up, as you know from uh, using hearing protectors and that. But as it starts to expand, you should get the sensation that my voice is becoming pretty muffled. Uh, the camera guys here say that i got to talk a lot louder now. First thing we'll do is we'll turn on the ear. What I'll now do is, is mix in a traditional ambient type to the ear, so that we're taking the, uh, the, uh, the mic off of that. So I'll bring that in. So now, as I'm talking, you'll get a sensation. And I've been this voice has now been brought into the monitor mix to set up the ear canal. So imagine if you are you're the musician sitting in front of house, and that's what you're going to get. Or sort of fun of stage, you're going to get that sensation. And as I move around, uh, probably the biggest perception is not so much as being able to tell where I am, it's more the distance from the microphone. If I get close to the microphone, everything gets a lot clearer if I get further away. And of course, that's one traditional solution for the ambient problem. What I'd like to do now is introduce you to an alternative solution where we will uh, take out that monitor mic and instead bring up the personal ambient mic. And as I bring up those personal ambient mics, the sensation you're probably getting is it's probably pretty dramatic. It's hopefully getting back to the sensation you had before we installed the uh, in-ears on here. So now you can localize perfectly. So imagine I'm coming up to you on here going, hey, you know, I think the next song here, we should pick up the tempo a little bit. The band member over there, in fact, she's looking kind of good to me. So uh, we're having a lot of fun now. But you get that natural sensation. You can localize pretty good. And everything's pretty, uh, pretty much normal, as though you had, uh, didn't have anything stuck in your ears. In fact, uh, just to dramatize that, I'll now pull those ambient back out. You'll get that full isolation. So now I probably got to talk a lot louder because my voice is pretty muffled if I didn't have the ambient system. I can bring that ambient back up and you'll have no troubles hearing. In fact, just as a final demonstration of how much isolation you're getting, I'll bring the, the personal ambient mic down. My voice is pretty muffled now and I'll go about carefully pulling this out. You might be able to get a little pop as your eardrum moves there. But now you'll sort of get that very dramatic sensation of having unplugged ears. So hopefully it's given you a sense of uh, what the personal ambient mics can do, how it can give you a much more natural uh, experience on stage. And as you rotate it around, so does the sound images. Everything stays in its correct spot uh, versus the more traditional stuff.